This is the box showing the image of the phone on the front. There's the Redmi K20 name on the side. Turning to the back, we see some key specifications. We'll talk about them in a bit. So yes, let's quickly unbox this and see what we get inside. Okay, the first thing we see is a leaflet. Let's put it aside for the moment and check out the device. This is the glacier blue color variant of the Redmi K20. At the back, the gradient designs looks pretty attractive and the phone really feels solid in the hand. Now let's peel off the stickers and boot the device. While it boots, let's see what else we have. In the sleeve, first comes the SIM eject tool. Then there is the usual paperwork. And finally a hard case. Moving on there's the charging brick and lastly a USB Type-C cable. So here's a quick look at everything you get inside the box of the Redmi K20. The Redmi K20 sports a 6.39 inch Super AMOLED display that goes edge to edge and has minimal bezels. The right side of the phone features volume buttons and a colored power button somewhat like what we saw on the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. There's a USB Type-C port along with the speaker grille at the bottom. There's a dual SIM tray as well but sadly there's no slot for storage expansion. The left side of the phone is blank while the top accommodates the headphone jack and the pop-up selfie camera module. Under the hood is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 730 SoC paired with up to 8GB of RAM and up to 256GB of inbuilt storage. Other specifications include an under display fingerprint sensor and a 4000mAh battery. The phone runs on MIUI 10 based on Android 9 Pie. In terms of cameras, there's a triple rear setup comprising of a 48MP primary camera with an f1.75 aperture paired with a 13MP wide-angle camera with an f2.4 aperture and an 8MP telephoto camera with an f2.4 aperture. There's a 20MP pop-up selfie front camera that lights up whenever you activate it. 